Hello, it's um, Dan back again from Bike Moto in Portsmouth. Um, just a quick video on how we worked out how to fit an American ECU to a UK ECU without hiss on a Honda GL 1800 2001. Um, so basically, the hardest thing really was trying to get the American wiring diagram for some strange reason, looking online for the life of me, could not find a picture of the American Warren diagram. But luckily, one of our customers chatting to on Saturday had an American um, spec GL 1800 with, he got given a manual with it. So I borrowed that of him, looked at the, compared the looms, um, the loom diagrams for the fuel injection system and managed to work out quite quickly uh, which way, what we needed to do. So if I just go over to the video, uh, to the wiring diagram, this is the ECU connector on the UK one. Um, and I was just trying to work through it. I tried back feeding all the ECU and stuff, which didn't really show me much information. Um, but what I noticed quite quickly was this IMOV, which is empty on this one. It's between the yellow and the black and red um, connections on the gray terminal. Um, on the American spec one, we have a connector there, black and yellow, which is the power feed. And that connects to the throttle position sensor, pair valves and map sensor, and goes off and does other things around the loom. So all we had to do was look at the American loom and see, so on. if you follow this, this black and yellow, um, the black and yellow comes out here, it comes down, it spurs off there somewhere else it goes comes to here sorry i've got a bit lost comes into the black connector on the ecu black and yellow there's only one black and yellow wire on the loom on the black connector so done a bit of a back test on the um on the ecu just to make sure there's continuity before i did connect it up because I was worried I might damage the ECU. So this wire here on the UK bike, uh, this one here, basically between the yellow and the black and red, is this one is em normally empty. So what I've had to do is pop a connector in there. I've connected it in the loom, but basically it comes in the loom. I've found the black and this black and yellow wire coming out of here. Like I say, there's only one on the black connector. Um, which feeds the ignition and like the other components um, are connecting them together in here so um, I've got the hiss antenna disconnected and you turn the bike on it really gets the bike goes out, bike starts, runs no full codes um, all good unfortunately let's just turn this back off again Unfortunately, it doesn't bypass the hiss. It's not a hiss bypass. It's just a cheaper way of fixing your bike if it has an ECU problem, like a UK ECU problem, because the UK ECU here from Honda, in, if you ordered it in the UK, would be 1700 plus VAT. Which, uh, but the American ECU, which we got from a dealer in America, uh, posted um was i think it come out to 868 with tax and import duties and stuff like that and postage so like considerable saving all right hopefully this video has been of help um again like i say if you like and subscribe our channel um any comments more than welcome um I, and if you've got any questions on other bikes i'll try and help you obviously um i'll try and get some more content up i've been a bit uh, slack between the first video I put up and this one's probably been a year but I just we get so busy I just don't find time to actually sit down and make videos basically but I thought this was quite a good one because there was quite a lot of people commenting on the forums and stuff saying with similar problems of the right hand knock sensor um, fault or, that is not a fault with the knock sensor because we changed that and it um, didn't eliminate the problem but it turns out that there's an ECU pro in 
internal in the ECU, which thinks the knock sensor is faulty, therefore the, thinks the engine's out of balance, and it overfuels the engine to try and balance the engine out. So the bike runs, and you can ride it, but above 2,000 revs, it's okay. Um, but when you come down to stop or filter in traffic and that it just cuts out because it's running so rich and it's hard to start again because it's not fat trying to find the plugs up but we've like i say we've rectified all that um so just got to put all the bodywork back on and then the customer can have his bike back